take a look at this problem. Found my tablet. There it is. Okay. So we got the absolute value of x minus 5 and minus 9 is greater than 9. Now, absolute value inequalities. We got two formulas. Our first formula is less than case. Now, this is where we got the absolute value of something is less than something else. If you have it in that form, then you can rewrite it in this manner. Now, if there's a line underneath here, then you just put line underneath these. Then our second case is where we have the absolute value of something is greater than something else. And if you have it in that form, then you can rewrite it in this manner. Now, you have to plug it into all these different pieces here. Okay. Now, in order to use these um, formulas... The absolute value has to be by itself on the left side. Nothing in front of it, nothing after it. So as I look at this problem right here, before I even try to identify which case it is, I notice the absolute value is not by itself on the left side. So I'm going to take that negative 9 and move it to the right side. And that's the same as adding 9 to both sides. So I'm going to take negative 9 over, it becomes a positive 9. And we get the absolute value of x minus 5 is greater than 18. Okay, so now the absolute value is by itself. And this is a greater than. So this is going to be case 2 because of the greater than. Well, we identify our P and Q. P is whatever's inside the absolute value. And Q is the other side. And our formula says P is less than negative Q. Then there's an OR there. And P is greater than positive Q. Now you can't just plug it in one piece. You have to plug it in all of this. So wherever there's a P, I'll plug in X minus 5, and wherever there's a Q, I'll plug in 18. So I got X minus 5 is less than negative 18, or X minus 5 is greater than a positive 18. Now you're going to solve each one of these down separately. So on this one, I'll take the negative 5, move it over to the right side. So we've got X is less than negative 18 plus 5, or X is less than negative 13. Same thing on this one. I'll take the negative 5 and move it over. So we've got x is greater than 18 plus 5 or x is greater than 23. And there's an or between them. And that would be your answer. Now the problem doesn't really indicate write it in uh, any particular format. Um, but if it were to ask us to write it in different different manners uh, the interval notation is probably the most common one you see. This is less than negative 13. So this is going to go from negative infinity to negative 13. Less than means this is a parenthesis. Or is union. And then parenthesis on 23 because it's a greater than. There's no line underneath. Line underneath means put a bracket. And this is going to positive infinity. So that's how you'd write it with an interval notation. But that would be the answer to my problem.